Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shawman247. Welcome you, you back all to Back to the Future, the game. Last time, we took a visit to Kid Tan and Speakeasy, L Kid, and there we met Trixie Trotter, who seems to have the dirt needed in order to get Kid Tan and arrested. But she won't tell just anybody, all she will mainly tell is Arthur McFly. So, what we have to do in this video is, we're going to have to find some way to get Arthur McFly in order to talk with Trixie about what sort of stuff that Arthur has against, you know, Kid Tannen and all that. And we're still back in our getup with Marty's tired face. Yes. Now, we did, did he actually see uh, Arthur go out on like a trolley or something before when we exited Kid Tan Speakeasy in the last video? And, but there's only one way for us to truly find them. We actually need to not get this caricature Marty. We need Artie's pipe here. And let's give it to Einstein because he's helped us track the people down before. Which hey boy, I, you take know, a whiff of this. Taking a whiff of items and then running after them. You gotta love that nose. Truly. Oh, so he is hiding in the movie theater. How about that? I've been laying low, officer, but I've gotta go to the pictures once in a while. True, Hello, true. Officer. officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk at the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Yeah, Einstein, you done good. Well, all right. That seems to be a mission accomplished on that one. Considering that he's probably speaking with Doc, we might. It looks like we need to go head to the flop house in order to see what Arthur has. So let's go talk with Doc again. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Well, you need to send Artie to Trixie. Is still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Clever girl. Yeah, yeah, on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids' speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. Well, too bad, Arthur. You got no choice in the matter. I don't know how you talk me into this. Just yeah, stay back here in he? the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. Where's Kid? Wow. Don't worry. I still am very curious to know how um, uh, Marty and Doc were able to convince Hardy to just go out to the speakeasy here. I would have liked to have seen that scene, game developers. Just saying. But for now, I have to say that. Ew. 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 <laughs> to all that. Anyway, let's get back into the speakeasy. Do some more business in here. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Gosh darn these loading screens, I tell ya. These loading screens, I tell ya! <laughs> Man, it's been too long since I've been recording videos. Way too long. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Well, I don't know, but before I talk to Trixie, I do want to let you guys know that I haven't recorded videos in a while because I've been actually getting fairly busy lately. A lot of stuff's been happening. School started kicking back up, and I've been getting a little bit more work, work needed to do to um, uh, complete, rather. So I am going to be releasing videos whenever I have free time, but. For now, I'm thinking of implementing an upload schedule in order to actually get these videos out in a nice and timely manner. 
because there's going to now start to be times where I'm not going to be able to upload every day of the week anymore. Unless if I get myself a big break, which I'm not going to be getting a break until the middle of next month, unfortunately. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be close to finishing this game by then. And, well, yeah. I'm thinking of up doing an upload schedule. But I will might maybe uh, post more about that on like Facebook or Twitter or something like that. Which, by the way, you should follow me there to keep up with what I do. Just saying. Just saying. And how about we take a look at the microphone? Marty secretly wants to be a singer, you know. <laughs> Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, man, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing around here. Okay, Trixie, okay. And let's talk t to this guy real quick. Doing it again. You're trying to steal my <laughs> girl, ain't you? Uh, what happens if we say yes this time? Maybe. What are you gonna do about it, chicken? That's it. You're toast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fail! It looks like you need to cool off for a few. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> it's like a drunk in a real bar. Gotta love it. Uh, what does she say there? Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, thanks anyway. Okay, for real, let's make some progress. Let's talk to Trixie. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Uh, Trixie, your big ol' soulmate, or, um, uh, guy you want to cooperate with on certain things is outside. Go yes, to him. I'm waiting in the alley to talk with you. Buddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to- Come up for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Uh. Hey, you! What? Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you make. How'd you get back into the club so fast? What? Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why you? <laughs> and he misses again. I never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. <laughs> All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I. Ah! Hmm. Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Oh boy. What do you say, babe? What was that? Things not going according to plan. I'm guessing that's what that was. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. But tell what me what happened. Your insurance policy. There ain't no insurance policy. After tonight, I'm tossing it in the furnace and burning it up. Come on, Trixie. Can't you tell me what happened out there? No! Then at least give me the evidence you got on Kid. No. I made a deal with myself. As soon as tonight's set is over, the evidence goes up in smoke. Oh no. Leg out there. Thanks. Ooh, we should probably investigate what's out there. Up the stairs we go, into the alley, to some where somebody knows something. Well, time to go exploring again. What a puddle of blood. This is what? Artie? This don't look good. You missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. Ooh, boy. And get this. The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie. Oh, no. 
Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's Kid head, Jr. which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees, crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Huh, oh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Good to know, kid. <laughs> hmm. Alright. That's not good. Ah. Uh, actually, I am going to check on something real quick. Uh, be right back. Edna, what? Oh, um, uh, anyway, guys, sorry to cut back into here, but, um, uh, this is actually pretty important going forward, based on my knowledge of, uh, seeing what happens in this game. I have actually seen the events of, uh, the second episode, you know, at least. So I do kind of have a rough idea of what to do going forward, but this is important. You need to actually go back into the park and talk with Edna here. And after stomaching through her song once more, you actually have this option come up saying, Can I have a copy of your song? It's important that you do this! So, you let's get a I copy. Have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh... Got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. And well, see ya. Keep fighting the good fight. That that's about it. I'm uh, with Edna there for now. So I'm going to go and head back into the speakeasy. If I can just go the right darn way. Head to the screen. There we go. Oh, Emmett's still up there. That's right. I forgot about that. What is he doing there? Are you sure that's safe? Of course it's not safe. That soup kitchen he's climbing is owned by gangsters. Stop being such chickens. See? Safe as houses. Don't blame me if you end up dead. Oh, that man is so infuriating. <laughs> I just couldn't resist seeing that conversation. Anyway, let's get back into um, uh, the speakeasy. Through the door. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. More welcoming. And, man. Like Parker's still parked. Oh, I see what you did there, Marty. Good one. So, let's see here. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Uh, well, now we should talk to Trixie because we do know what happened to Artie. I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was uh, awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. Hmm. Well, what can we Break do to, there. um, uh, Thanks. do that? We need to convince Trixie to turn on Tannen. But, hmm. I got an idea. Let me see here. Do I have the right thing in the inventory? No, I do not. You need to convince convince Trixie about um, uh, Arthur not being there. I think a good I, hey, good thing to what? do is... Uh... First, not nah, exit. You later. Hey, look! Okay. Now, let's scroll through our items, because we got quite a bit here. And another thing I forgot to mention is, this scratch sheet actually is supposed to be a hint to um, uh, how to get into the speakeasy. I don't know why I didn't look at or mention this before, but that's one way to actually make your life easier in case you guys didn't know. Or happen to make it up to this point without knowing how I got in here so easily. Even though I didn't actually get in here so easily. <laughs> Gosh darn it. 
Anyway, we should get our, our good old buddy George out. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. Well, that won't be happening, because we do need an image, and perhaps, you know, let's see, if you, I actually want to try this just in my own curiosity, can that actually work? I always wanted to be famous. <laughs> I always wanted to be famous. Not a pretty bunch. Not a pretty bunch. Not a pretty bunch. So yeah, you could put caricatures up on this wall already. But how about we uh, put the caricature up of George instead Sorry of that? Sorry about this, Dad. And did we actually get the caricature of ourselves back? Yeah, we did. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So how about now that that's up, we go talk to Trixie again. I don't care. And those are the lyrics. How about we put Edna's lyrics in instead? I really should give these lyrics to someone who could do them justice. No, I was meaning to click on the table. Duh. Lyrics. Hey, Trixie, look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. She, she's totally oblivious to that switch. How about that? Anyway, let's go talk with Trixie uh, once Trixie? more. Yeah? We, we can... Is this maybe the uh, Trixie talking episode? Probably. Well, anyway, look who made the Wall of Fame. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal. Artie was supposed to be safe. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Whoa. Before he died, <laughs> Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Interesting. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, Papa! Hmm, he's walking over. But he don't want to hear it. Because he's too down on himself. Ah, uh, Mr. Parker, he's why? He's interested. Figures. Half the police force is in Tannen's pocket. Give me a few minutes to work on him. I've got a hunch he'll come around. What? Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Actually, let me try something. You in? Just something to figure out. Uh, I'll bet on odd. Playing some casino games. Hey, rats. Uh, let me try it again. You in? Uh, does it actually s Oh, there we go. 
How about we do this specifically? 7, 23, and 30. I'm gonna play 7, 23, and 30. Well, how about that? Interesting. I wonder where this leads. Never actually discovered that. Whoop. No time for a haircut now. Even if they were so... on the sides, they'd probably cut it too short. Wow. We just warped all the way out here to Wow, where the flop house is. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So there you go everybody. There's a shortcut for you guys. <laughs> Examine some of these stuff. Just I like for fun. Trixie's version better than Edna's, but it's kind of a downer. Do I really look like that? <laughs> Grandpa Artie's pipe. You know, I could barely remember Grandpa from when I was a kid, but this smells like him. Heavy. <laughs> Heavy. Heavy indeed. In gratitude for your continued service, JJ Valenti. You know, a cigarette lighter shaped like a gun seems like a really bad idea. And indeed it is! It's good to see Dad in one piece again. And just like that... You know what? I... I... well... I'm actually making this a shorter episode. Good reason why is because I'm actually going to be catching a TV show in a few minutes, actually. You know, just some more Walking Dead. I am still hooked on that show, gotta say. Especially since it's um, uh, been finally returned, you know, after the spinoff was on for a little bit. I've been looking forward to the original show coming back, and boy, has it delivered so far. Oh, Mally, and Sons. <laughs> so, yeah, it's about to go on, so I'm gonna prep myself up for it and make this a bit of a shorter episode than the last few have been because they've been ridiculously long episodes. So, I mean, it's good to have a nice change of pace. And next time, on Back to the Future the Game, we are gonna start to work on. Well, not Trixie, just Trixie Trotter, but we're going to mainly focus on finally seeing if we could get Officer Danny Parker to come around, and listen to Trixie, and get the evidence and everything else together in order to arrest Kid Tannen and finally repair the present. It's likely going to be that the next video of this series will likely be the very end of Episode 2. So look forward to that. I don't know when exactly that's going to go up with all the little schedule mixing up around with all the new schoolwork and stuff, but it should go up soon. And I'm still going to keep on working on this game, mo mostly focusing on this. Plants vs. Zombies, on the other hand, and Chawman one-offs, unfortunately, I do not have a lot of time to work on those sorts of videos at the moment, so I'm going to just concentrate my efforts for now on Back to the Future. So if you guys were looking forward to those other series, I apologize, but I will be getting them back up at another point. Maybe, maybe when I'm mostly through this game, or if I can get myself a good break or something. Or maybe there might be a possible exception or two coming up. Who knows? The point is, I'm mainly going to focus on this game. So, just like that, yeah. Sorry to, you know, put all the informal scheduling stuff in this video, but I have to let you guys know somehow, and and um, uh, recording some camera-based stuff has been, well, I'm trying to look for time to do everything, so it's been a little bit rough on my end. But hey, I at least can do this video. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. Also, be sure to share this out with other people who you might find will be interested in this game. And also, subscribe to see the rest of the Back to the Future game when it becomes available. So, anyway, I thank you guys so very, very much for watching this, and stay classy! Bye-bye!